Tanya. Let me know if you can hear me okay. I can never get this audio right. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, everybody. Hi, Ava. Let me start from the beginning. Liz, Sharon, Val, girly girl, Chrissy, Liz. Hi, Liz. I have a lot of Liz's in here. Joy. What's going on? Hi, Pam. Hi, Sharon. Ashley. Oh, Ashley. I am backed up on comments and I remember the one where you asked what mic I used in my videos. It is the Sen Sennheiser MKH416. Overkill, but I love it because I realized little things where I test out my audio. So I hear it on my phone, but I also hear it on my Wonder Boom. I also hear it in the car. And when you hear the MKH416 in the car, it makes a difference. Now, I would like to further upgrade my audio by getting the foam pads, possibly putting a rug in here. So, you are welcome, Ashley. I'm sorry about the delay, friend. And everyone who asked me questions on my, on my previous video, I am terribly sorry. I just have to get up earlier. That's really what it is. I'm not managing my time well. And by the time bedtime comes, I'm like, should I really be on my phone for the next two hours? That's what I'm dealing with. So, yes, I really love it. It may, And the one I'm using now is a Shure uh, SM7M, 7B, 7B, SM7B. I forgot. So many mic names, so many numbers. If you're watching this on the replay, hello, friends. I will update this with timestamps soon. Welcome to the blush ball. Today, we will be trying on the different blushes from our favorite makeup artist, namely Pat McGrath and Lisa Eldridge, but also featuring other blush, cream blush items that I still really love. That might not be from those brands, but this is just us playing, mixing, matching. Hi, Yolanda. Hi, Pauline. I have to check. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for reminding me, Ashley. I have to visit my P.O. box. I will do that. Thank you. And thank you so much for sending. You are an angel. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks, Venus November. I, you know, if you're feeling low energy... Not necessarily I want to make you feel hype, but I just want to make you feel a little bit better. Like, you know what? It's going to be okay. That's kind of how I want to deliver. I mistakenly, well, you know what? This is from the ILNP Poolside Collection, which I could not resist. <laughs> the names of the polishes will be in the DB, which I'm so proud to say that they're actually there before I uh, started the live. Look at me being all productive. I really should have painted my nails in the coral and the magenta since we're doing blush, but I was not thinking that far in advance. <sighs> All right. It is time. It is time. <laughs> Let's get this uh, show rolling. So I will be taking on, uh, on and off, but I've been loving the Auric because I have so much of it. And I was like, Alicia, you better be using this, okay? I put on, like, the light shade here with pyrite, citrine, goldstone. I put it all on. And then on top of it all, I slapped on the Huda stick, which still a favorite. And I love my Suku. I love my Pat McGrath. All the foundations that I went over in that video absolutely love that's why they're in that video but when it comes to fast tracking application this no fragrance creamy even though even in the summertime I really don't mind because I've been using Pat's loose powder which not a favorite with many but look at this fam I'm nearly done with it I don't know if you can tell but I am almost done with it, and I might get another one. I just might, you know? So we're not going to pouge ya because I, I want to keep the skin a little radiance, you know? Especially since we'll be going in with the Lisa Eldridge 
okay, as well as the Pat Mugrath. Now, there are a couple of, I also really, really like, let me get it. Oh, I really like the Melt Cream Blush Lights. I kept the whole box. This is not PR, okay? I bought the PR box when they launched. And my favorite shade out of all of them is definitely Sandy Cheeks. This is my favorite shade. I think it is so unique. Although it kind of smells like vanilla, I forget it. I mean, I forgive it. It's fine. It's not as evasive, right? But that's something I, I, you know, I run back to and apply because I really do enjoy. And of course, the LYS. Let me just take the whole, let me just, <laughs> why are you just going to open the drawer, Lisa? You just bring the whole stinking drawer, okay? Just bring it, really. I think, all right, I think those are all of them. All right. All righty then. Okay. What is T here? Hi, T. Now be headed hobo. You got to see the whole thing at once, okay? Otherwise, it does not count. Hi, friend. So happy to have you. I hope you're well. Give Ray Ray a little kiss for me. Mwah. Okay. Now, what shall we start with first? Do we want to start with comparisons? I wanted to kind of compare the Lisa Eldridge shades to the LYS shades. And then we can get into the mm -mm -mm, maybe. We'll do this quickly so I won't keep you. I'm going to take off this watch. Well, it's not really a watch. It's a tracker. It's a tracker. Uh, Self-love. Self-love. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I wanted to also share... A little, uh, so sorry, a little self-promote. I am teaching on a retreat. Can't restore. September. I don't have the link in my description box, so I failed to include that. But I do have it on my newsletter. If you want to email me about it, you can let me know. September 21st to the 25th. Uh, just as you see, we're not going to be doing that per se. <laughs> That's just for the promo. You know, you got to catch them visually. We'll do yoga. We'll do flexibility. I'm teaching flex and flow, which is my signature flexibility class that I teach every Sunday. I also teach flex express throughout the week, which is a 30 minute flexibility class. Those you can sign up now for. And if you wanted to get a feel for it. So if you want it like five days of it, including aerial including handstand training with all the experts there on site talking about nutrition, talking about stress management. And then I'm staying an extra week for Power Monkey. So I'm staying there for two weeks to teach and then to take. So that will be a lot of fun. But I wanted to share because I know after what we've been through, if we were looking to just get out and be in another environment and I, I really love the staff because we're there to help guide your training, to not make you feel you need to accomplish something in five days. If you were always wondering more about like the acrobatic realm of things, if you wanted to do aerial, but you're like, I don't know, man, the people are going to be there for sure. So wanted to let you know. Ooh, lilac, enjoy. You are just in time. It is going to be in Tennessee, uh, Lake Francis, Tennessee. It's on a property that's dedicated to, it's on a gymnastics, it's a gymnastics facility that we will have full access to, not only to the gymnastics facility, but the lake and hiking grounds all around is quite beautiful. Quite beautiful. Yeah, Power Monkey. They, they call it Power Monkey because they do CrossFit and gymnastics. So that's that's the branding. <laughs> that is the name of the company.
Okay. Do, 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 do. Ready? Ready. I also wanted to pull up. You know what? I think we could figure out. We can figure out the shade descriptions on our own, don't you think? Self love. That's like, I feel could be a pink soap moment. Pink soap. And I'm so sorry to learn that a lot of us are having, like, this is tough to get out. I don't really know if it's because something is stuck or it's just a formula. Hmm. You know, maybe maybe Lisa has addressed it at some point, but... Okay, so you see that self-love has a little more mauve to it. Let me bring this light over. Okay. And pink soap is more neutral, I find. But that makes me curious to find out... Well, kindness is more peachy. Definitely more peachy. But uh, confidence, confidence, we got empower, we got passion, inspire, which is definitely Island Glow, confident. This I really love because it was more of like a pinky brown. Yeah, so this is pink soap from Lisa. And then you have self-love, kindness, and confidence. Well, that is actually a good point, perhaps, but I can't even imagine like how they managed to make, you know what I mean? Like how they managed to make that happen. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. Out the back. Ooh, I better be careful. Oh my gosh. I hope that seam stays intact. Thanks for letting us know. My goodness. All right. The next one, passion. I immediately think of mountain walk. So this is more of like a pink berry. Could We could do pink poetry just to see. Pink poetry. Now I'm scared. <laughs> now I'm scared. I don't, I'm, I'm really scared to like get these out. I don't want anything busting. That would be devastating. Pro you know what? It's, I think it's safe to push from the bottom. Because if you push from the bottom, you can ensure that the pressure goes up and not up and down at the same time. So this is Pink Poetry, which has a little more, dare I say, not neon, but a little more vibrancy to it. Whereas Passion is more like berry pink. And then, of course, Mountain Walk. Mountain Walk is, oh, surprisingly, I was not ready for how much I love this shade. True, like, berry toned dare I say passion is like a mixture of pink poetry and mountain walk isn't that funny mm. Mm. and of course of course I think did we do all of them let me see we have to do inspire we did passion inspires island glow most definitely so here we have inspire which is just Absolutely amazingly gorgeous. We'll follow up with, excuse me, Island Glow. I think Island Glow might have a little more coral to it. Like, Inspire appears to be, hey, Monica. Inspire appears to be like a more muted version of Island Glow. Can you all see that? They're both beautiful. Most definitely. 
Hold on, I caught a question. Hey, Ashley. Hey, saucy gal. Do you guys put cream blush over or under a powder base? I actually experimented with both, and everyone else can chime in if you like. I found if you're more on the oily side of the spectrum that it actually works beautifully well if you lightly powder first. And the Lisa Eldridge, uh, I think it adheres pretty nicely and evenly. So it doesn't, like, it does not disturb your powder at all. But uh, let me know what everyone else had experienced with that. Y yes, Sharon, slightly creamsicle. Indeed. I agree. Uh, well, you know what? Now we got to bust into these melts because... You're welcome, Ashley. Anytime. Aloha, Amanda. Oh, what the Gemini? Then I would powder with whether loose powder or pressed powder, whatever your preference is. Hey, Kelsey. Whoop, whoop. How you doing? How you doing? Okay. This is Sandy Cheeks. Such a unique shade. You know what I mean? So a mixture between a peach and a coral. I think that's why I love it so much. It's just so beautiful. Maybe I should keep this out just in case. The other ones in here I do like as well. Polished is, is actually beautiful. This is more leaning pink. Uh, let's see here, yeah. Well, I would say this is more coral perhaps. Yeah, pinky coral. That's beautiful as well. My other one, because these are a mixture of like matte and and not satin per se, but they got a little sparkly arkly. Golden Hour is absolutely just outrageous on top of any of these because it has that shine. Look at that. Ooh, that is beautiful. Like on top of not necessarily the cheekbone, but like around here. Mm hmm. Let me bring this mic in a little closer. <laughs> Turn. F there we go. That's much better. Honey Thief is always a favorite because um, it was the first melt blush that I really fell in love with. Oh, that's good to know. Someone else had mentioned that too. Mountain split at the end, so do squish and shake. Although I have to say, yes, they they make sure that any replacements that need to happen, they do. Honey Thief? Honey Thief, I feel, translates better as a powder for me. This is still a pretty color. I do prefer Sandy Cheeks, though. Just because that just toasty tone is irreplaceable when it comes to emulating summer burnt cheeks you know what i mean okay i really want okay what shall we do first do we want to put on some lisa eldridge first and then top it off with the pat i think we shall i think we shall Okay, pink soap. Oh, no, 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 hold on. I forgot to do Dante's Dream. Like, where could Dante's Dream fit? I'm going to put it all the way. Dante's Dream is, like, not as liquidy as some people have said. It hasn't been out of control. But this color, I think, is so unique. Also, Venetian Red we didn't do. I think those are, like, standout Lisa Eldridge exclusives, if you will, in terms of those being like the ones that no one else has. Mm -mm -mm. Has anyone tried the Lisa Blushes Over Powder Foundation? You know what? We should try that as well, friend. Let me get my um, Fenty. Hold on.
I can't find my Fenty powder foundation. I lied. Here it is. I'm so, I lied. Ooh, you know what? We're going to go in with 300. I actually already have foundation on, but why don't we just experiment, okay? So, I know. I am so, I'm so sorry. We're going to watch out for this restock, fam. Apparently late July, early August. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. A little part of her. Okay. Ooh, what? How, how did we describe Golden Hour? Don't mind me. Yes. I agree. We were all trying to root for Fuego Flush, but it was just like, I just, there's just such, there's just gold sparkles. <laughs> All right, we applied, well, we're really going to get a nice uh, demo here because I have foundation on and I'm setting it with the Fenty. We are looking uh, rather, rather foundationed. <laughs> okay, let's see. I want to go in with pink soap first. And I just like to, I'm going to press from the bottom and just kind of do this. Ooh, okay. We got it on. We're going to tapity tap. LYS has a 25% off sale right now. Good to know. Thank you, Lilandra. Not too bad. It, I think it blends pretty well. Yeah, these went like in 30 minutes. It was kind of ridiculous. So this is what so this is what I usually do. Pink soap on its own on me, it's nice. As like if my if my eyes are really heavy and I just wanted something on the cheeks. But what I like to go in with, you know, we could do nymphette on top. <gasps> oh my god, hold on. Wait. That that makes it come forward a little bit more. Hey, Orca. Not too bad. Yes, I have reviewed Fenty Eavesdrop. I have it on my channel and on my recent June faves. I spoke about how I like to mix it with the Huda Beauty Glowish. Da -da 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 -da. Another pairing that I lovingly appreciate is Nude Venus with pink, or rather, yes, pink soap. That's pretty too. That's a nice combination. Mmm. Mmm. And why not? If we want to get really crazy, <laughs> we want to get really crazy. Some One of you had asked what I think about the Mario highlighter in comparison to Pat. Now, my from my bias standpoint, I do love Pat more than Mario. But what I will say is that I like the fact that 
both golden nectar and the divine rose highlighter have a slight pink shift i just think it adds more dimension when you have a blush on i feel it pulls everything together beautifully so that's just that's just my opinion And then when you put it over both blushes, you get a little bit of the gold here on the top. But then when you turn your face, you can see the pink. I think the a good LYS and PML blush combo will be like, well, you know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. I think I want to go in with confidence because confident is such a unique shade from lys slightly pinkier in tone excuse me than or slightly more more brown than pink soap and definitely shows up more on me And that's what I will say is that the LYS, they're so beautifully pigmented, but they're not overwhelming in application. You can feel pretty confident <laughs> in applying these. My favorite highlighter is the Divine Rose highlighter. And then Golden Nectar is like second because it's, um, what you would call it? It's, um, is a little more powwow. I would agree with you, Kai. It's not I it's not as pink as I expected it to be, but I think depending on what you apply under, it could help bring that pink more forward, which is what I would do uh if I was, you know, doing a look like this, I would then use the divine rose glow. So this is confident. And now, if we wanted to combine, you know what I want? I think Flirtatious will look bomb with Confident. Well, actually, let's put on Golden Nectar. So this is Golden Nectar. Let me see here. Where... I am so disorganized. <laughs> Golden Nectar. Oh. Golden Nectar is so shiny. So shiny. It's so pretty. And now, I was looking for flirtatious. So many, so many blushes. Ah, found it. Oh, you know what I kind of want to do, friends? I want to apply a little bit of... Let me see here. I kind of want to put on a little bit of Paradise Venus, like just on the hollows. Like get a little bit of that terracotta in there. You know? And then flirtatious. Good to know. And I had a feeling it would, Daphne. Like, it has really nice depth to it. Flirtatious on top of confident. Ooh, that's pretty. It's not as warm as nude Venus, but it's beautifully pink like if you want it something lighter closer to your nose so here we have pink soap nude venus and nymphette with the divine rose highlighter here we have confident from lys golden nectar pml paradise venus and flirtatious on top mm. And what I like to do is actually go in with Paradise Venus just through my crease. 
because this is like the perfect burnt shade to wear on your eyes as like a one and done moment. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. We're looking blushed. Thank you, Robbie. Now, I think it's time for us to go into, like, the fun fun. Ooh, yes. Nude Venus and... Divine Rose, good combination. Good combination. Thank you, Lilandra. Ooh, ooh, okay. Let us now, oh my goodness me, did I forget? I sure did forget. Hold on. Hold on, fam. Let me get my, uh, my cotton flats. Because we got to, whatchamacallit, get this show on the road. Stay there. Now, I wouldn't recommend that you do this on an everyday basis. <laughs> Amira's here. Hi. Tara, I did get the... Yes, Beautylish and Wayne sent me the mascara. I've been trying it. I could put it on for this live as well. <laughs> All right, everything's off. Everything is off. All right. I feel like I should put on the Auric too. So I could do the Wayne. I actually, I filmed a, a reel that I have to edit. So I'm just so behind on everything. <laughs> And also, I think I'll do it uh, maybe tomorrow morning. I post, well, not post it, obviously. I'm about to. I filmed a Melt Mayhem video where I just talk about all the Melt palettes that I have. <laughs> and I don't rank them per se. I just do a little dissertation on them. So that's coming up tomorrow. I, I did the second edit, took down my timestamps, and yeah. So in advance, just know that I did not include the Beetlejuice palettes because when I was going through all the palettes, I was just basically looking for the ones that were the standard 8 or 10 pan. So I didn't count the Beetlejuice as those, so that's why I didn't include them. And I, I just forgot about them because I didn't see them. And I, I also went on the website, and I don't think they have them anymore. Okay. Let me make sure. So I always have to curl my lashes no matter what. Ideally, I would just, no matter the mascara... Monica. <laughs> it's like a 50 minute video of me just talking about melt palettes. It's hilarious. I'm like, who is going to watch this? Amira, yes, melt is having a sale. You have been warmed. Okay. Ready? So I've been I'm wearing this for a week. 
I think I started at least a, maybe at most a week and a half. And yes, it is waterproof. So if you're not into that, you're not going to like this mascara. It is a spiky brush and I was worried. But let me tell you, my lashes stay up. They stay up, fam. And super black. I just wish that it was still kind of like a look like how my lashes look with Dark Star. More like a plush type of feeling. But I think it's just a matter of, sorry I'm blocking you, it's a matter of getting the timing right when you apply it multiple coats. But, I mean, they're up. If it's up, if it's up. That's like the only song I could think of when I'm applying this mascara. And then I try to push against the wand. So when you build up the formula, it doesn't get too spidery. Because that's what happened, I found... With the Pillow Talk mascara. It got way too powder, like way too spidery for me. Hey, Elvira, what's up, friend? Oh no, Kim, I'm sorry to hear that about Dark Star. Have you tried a fetish eyes, or what is your current favorite mascara? You got to get the ends. What do we think? What do we think? I actually have a photo that I photo that I took of my lashes yesterday upon finishing my reel. I without fail always get a little bit on my lid. What are you going to do? And this does transfer on me. A little bit on my bottom lashes which I was really disappointed I'm like it's waterproof it's freaking waterproof but there is another mascara from it's a Japanese brand that I think I like on my bottom lashes better I think it's uh heroin that's the brand oh not at all Elvira you're right on time Really, Stephanie? I, I think that's some uh, a one that people liked as well. I keep forgetting about it. Okay, what would I, what was I going to do? We already put the, the foundation on. Oh, yes, that's what I was going to do. <laughs> Hello, short-term memory? <laughs> okay. Let's see here. This is the picture. I thought it looks pretty good there. Like, lashy, lash, lash, lash. Ooh, Kim, Tom Ford Extreme. Extreme. Bad girl, bad gal is like classic. I haven't used it in a very long time. Really, Gucci mascara is good. Oh my gosh, I haven't maybe checked that out. Oh boy. Okay. We're wiping. So keep in mind, fam, between all uses, I always want, or I'm mentioning this because people ask me a lot about Sonia G, the, the Fusion series, how often you should wash it. I would only wash those brushes once a month because they're still natural hair and you don't want to overdo it. In between uses, I rub them on a towel to lift the excess product off the bristles. I think that's the best way to approach it. Do we want to do... You know what I want to do? I want to do a mountain walk with like Cherish. Oh, that's a good way to tap it on. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. 
Oh, that's Betty Pink. Let me wipe that off. Here we go. Mountain Walk is so freaking pretty. I cannot. I'm gonna put more. More Mountain Walk. It does, right, Ashley? I think the product comes out exceptionally well with microfiber towels. Oops, sorry, I keep bumping into my mic. Oh, welcome, Sam. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm happy you're able to make it. Ooh, mountain walk. So, <laughs> so it's so pretty. Next up, we got to go with Cherish. Here it is. Cherish is, a, I think, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm <laughs> Let's do it. Just a touch. Oh. That really, that amped it up. Okay. Now we're, we're at the party. We are at the party right now, fam. <laughs> and I'm just curious to know, what if we did Desert Orchid more on the actual cheeks to give it a little bit of ra radiance, luminosity? Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. We got to hit it with the golden nectar. I think Love Struck would have been a good combination with Mountain Walk as well. Mmm. Golden Nectar is so pretty. It's kind of ridiculous. Sam, I usually like to go live 3p 3 3:30 Eastern cuz I still have the light. <laughs> Maybe I mean sometimes earlier. Mm. Right, Jenna. So regionally appropriate. Absolutely. <laughs> it's waiting for you. You have to get it. You have to get it. Listen, I think it was Courtney who, let me, let me, hold on. Courtney suggested that we try. There was a, a combination. Ah. Dante's Dream and Desert Orchid. Coming right up. Coming right up. But I lost Dante's Dream. <laughs> I found it. I found it. I'll start Dante's Dream higher. Which is a little more liquidy, so I didn't have to press it that hard. <laughs> Oops. Oh, so many things. Everything's falling. I'm sorry. We're going with Dante's Dream. I'm punching it up a little higher because I want some room for Desert Orchid. Oh, my mom's calling me. Hold on. Hey, Mama. Yes. Okay, thank you. Bye. My mom's so cute. So I'm ordering um, sashimi for dinner. 
So she's going to let me know when to order it. So I might just have to quickly go online and order. <laughs> Don't mind me, fam. This is just real life. Thank you so much. I will, Ashley. I will tell her that you said hi. Oh, I think Dante's Dream might be my favorite. Because this is such a unique color. How in the world? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Desert Orchid. I kind of want to put Paradise Venus down, though. I just want to know. I just want to know. I'm going to use the uh, Wayne Gloss Artist Brush. A little smaller than the Yano. Just so it could be a little more precise. Oh, that's a good combination. Oh, thanks, Robbie. I guess it's because I'm the only child and she's like my entire world. <laughs> so it's like I'm we're we are practically the same. And especially and those moments are very much recognized when we clash. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're clashing because we're like the same person. <laughs> ah, okay. Hold on. Oh, Desert Orchid. Are we ready for this? I am so excited. I am so excited. Taya, I agree how this is just oh, the best. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. We got Mountain Walk with Cherish. Dante's Dream. With Paradise Venus and Desert Orchid. Death of Desert Orchid. This is, I feel so everyday friendly. I know we use three different things, but the tone is just perfect. Summary, not too much. You know what I mean? Oh, Renee, only child too. Yeah. I still remember, no matter where I am, always clean up after yourself. Oh. Okay. Are we ready for... What combination should we do, fam? Hang tight. I'm just going to quickly go to... <laughs> Kumo Sushi. Kumo Sushi. Okay, I really want to do pink poetry with Love Struck. I want to do pink poetry with Love Struck because that I feel is going to be crazy good. It's going to be super pink because this already looks super pink, but I think it's a little more subdued. You know what I mean? I feel we're going to get into like the 80s things. We definitely have to go into Love Struck and Pink Poetry. And then on the other side, we could do Island Glow and Electric Bloom again. I know I did that in June phase, but we could see it in action again. Here we go. Where is it? There it is. Oops. Sashimi Deluxe. Is that all I did? No. I did something else. Oh, Sandy Cheeks. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we got to get into... We have so many things to do. It's almost an hour? My gosh. What in the world is happening? So much time. Time goes so quickly in a live, maybe. <laughs> You're like, well, not really, Lizzie. I'm just kidding. Okay. All right, fam, we got the order on deck. All right, order is on deck. So when mom calls again, I just got to I just got to press. Oh, hi, cousin. Oh, Roberta. Yes, Sam, thank you. Very gentle. Ooh, second out of foe. But you do, T. You do take care of yourself. 
Yeah, I saw your I saw your last vlog. Vlog. I saw your last vlog getting it in the gym. Mm, mm. You know, I'm waiting for Brett Contreras. I say Contreras, but Contreras to get his back extension machine out to sale. So you can loop the bands, dude. I am ready. I am ready. I've been slack. I've been training, but I definitely have to amp the weight. So tomorrow, I think I want to go in the gym so I could actually lift a little heavier. I could also get uh, more dumbbells. I do have a 24-pound kettlebell, which I could use a lot more. Because I only have one, it'll be more appropriate for unilateral work, but I could still make it happen. Okay. Make sure the phone is visible so I can see Mama when she calls pink poetry. Hitting it from the bottom. Hey, True Sugar. So happy that you came in. Ooh, pink poetry is tough. Okay, there we go. We're getting it out. There's that's it. Oh, here we come. Yeah, you know, I talked crap about pink poetry in my video. I didn't like it as much. I don't know if it's because now I have foundation down that the color is coming more forward. Yes, I agree. His. His equipment, they're so clever because he does the work. You know what I mean? Like, this is from training so many clients and all the research that he's done. That's why I fully, like, trust anything he puts out. I agree. Like, I can't even imagine how many trial and error, uh, not drafts, but samples and whatever he's been through to get it right. Hey, Don. Thank you. Oh, that's pretty. Damn. Oh, excuse me. Zam. <laughs> Keep this PG, Alicia. Keep it PG. All right. Cherish. No, 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 no. We wanted to do Love Struck. Only us will we get, get this excited about plush. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is so pretty. What is happening? Oh, mom called. Hi, mama. Okay. Oh. No worries. Everyone says hello. <laughs> okay. So, little tip, if you... Well, because I've been applying and reapplying, if you find you have like a, a line of demarcation here, just take your foundation brush and pat along the edges and everything will just come together. Seamless, darling. Seamless. Now, Ashley, I think, had recommended maybe Sandy Cheeks and LYS. Inspire and Sandy Cheeks. Can we do it? Yes. Yes, we can. Let's play a game. How fast can Alicia find Inspire? <laughs> okay. I think appropriate to place Inspire a little higher. Oh, so pretty.
every time I apply Inspire is always a moment. I'm just like always so highly impressed. Just so impressed. Just the color. Mm. Sandy Cheeks time. Is this? Yes, I wanted to make sure I got the right color. Oh! Can you even? That's pretty. That's pretty. I want to get crazy now and put on Golden Hour like we're doing it, all right? Ooh! Look at that. Golden Hour is so easy. It's so easy to apply, just melts into everything. <laughs> Thank you, Tara. Thank you for coming by. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> Amanda. Going to pick up Sandy Cheeks today. Ooh, you would not be disappointed. Again, it has a fragrance. Even though it's a little more emollient feeling than the LYS, it still has beautiful blending. And if you tend to be oily, then I would just powder first and then apply it after and it'll have better adherence. Here we have Pink Poetry and Cherish. Oh, no, sorry. Pink Poetry and Love Struck. And here we have LYS's Inspire with Melt Sandy Cheeks. Ooh, these combinations. Feeling them. How about one more? One more. We, at, we are at the hour mark. We'll do one more. Okay. <laughs> I think, Amanda, the best brush is... I generally go synthetic when it comes to cream and liquid products only because it's not going to absorb as much as a natural hairbrush would. And I tend to go or gravitate toward natural brushes. Oh, I got to make sure. You know what? I should be responsible and get this off before I put it, get it on my uh, tank. Natural hair brushes, I find maybe for me more appropriate for a foundation so it could take away a little bit of the makeup. But if you're dealing with a blush that is light in, in formulation, then the synthetic brush is going to help put on a little more color on your skin. This is Goldstone, by the way, just to add a little bit more warmth. Ready? Can I? Okay, because I right now I'm on a live. It's okay. Uh, okay. 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 You're welcome. All right. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Oh no. What happened to my order? Of course it reset. Silly. Silly. Look at me. <laughs> we're we're gonna blend this out in a minute. This is the great thing about um this formula that uh you know it's not gonna set. It's gonna stay right there. Stay right there. We'll be right with you in a minute. 
silly. Okay. Soup. Add. Two items. Check out. Place order. Apple Pay Go. This is why I like to use the Auric more often because depending, sorry, depending on the foundation, like the Butter Pecan now, see how it's a little light on me, but when I add Goldstone or even Citrine, it balances it out. Oh, thanks for asking, Ashley. He is doing very well. I'm just trying to get him to do a little bit of strength training because... The older you get, the more muscle you lose and your your entire body structure starts to decline. So I'm just worried about the fact that, you know, I want to war off any type of osteoporosis, any, you know, if he falls that he's not going to break or fracture a bone. So I'm trying to get him to be just, you know, just do your push-ups, Papa. I'll do them with you. But if if you're not... If you're not motivated to do that, it's very hard, but sometimes you just have to know you have to do it because it's for your body's best interest in terms of longevity and just, you know, architecture. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, let us see. Ooh, oh, I did say, hold on. Venetian Red and Paradise Venus. Oh. He can be. He he gets very... So I the thing I love about Papa is that it doesn't take much to make him happy. You know, he, he is just laxed in that way. But sometimes it's a little too complacent. And, you know... That's where I have to be a little bit of a drill sergeant, which <laughs> he is like, Ugh. but I'm like, dad, listen, do you want to be on a walker and in an appropriate, like not now, not ever. Okay. I need more. I need more Venetian red. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we put enough. We put enough on. <laughs> Amira, I was talking about millennial pinks in my video and it's just like, I really like, I don't love it. I like it, but I really wanted to love it because if those metallics came through full throttle, that's how I felt when she's in parties. When she's in parties with on sale, I'm like, that's not a good enough sale. It's mm, not a good enough sale. I want something a little more. Oh my god, I don't know if mom will come on my channel. She'll be so nervous. And also, I don't know what I would do if someone says something mean about her. I think I will lose my mind. So <laughs> I'll be so pissed. So I don't want to expose her to the world because I love the internet, but sometimes the internet could be just, <sighs> but we shall see. We shall see. Okay. Paradise Venus. Definitely going the bigger brush route. Oh, that's pretty. Venetian red with Paradise Venus. I just love how sunburnt I look without actually relying on the sun. That's pretty. We like that. So for the Pure Series of Stones, we gotta go with Island Glow. 
Yes, <laughs> make sure at the one, the right one. Island glow with electric bloom. We got to, we got to. We got we a little more, little more. Come on, come on. I'm like pressing the end at the same time. I'm pressing the middle just so I could protect any mis uh, accidents. We don't want any accidents, okay? Now, I would highly suggest if you're going Island Glow with Electric Bloom that, I mean, you could go in with a heavy hand with Island Glow if you wanted, but just to control the layering a little bit, lighter hand with Island Glow so that when you tap on or rather punch on Electric Bloom, it won't be like too va va boom, but you can definitely go there. Where is it? Of course, the last compact I pick up will be the one. That's how it always is. <laughs> Blush accidents. Bl band name? Oh, yes. Here it is. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. Oh man, what a way to end this blush ball. Venetian red with Paradise Venus. Island glow with electric bloom. And they both, I feel, compliment. Imagine, I would do this, actually. I would, I would go out like this, like I do with two different eyes, two different nails. Just go with two different blushes. I feel if they're in the... Res like, for instance, if I were to do Pink Poetry, Mountain Walk, Love Struck, Cherish, that would be a good combo. This is a good combo. Like, a little more vibrant on this side, a little more subdued on this side. <laughs> I know that's a lot, but, you know, I just feel because I have so much makeup, I try to find an excuse to wear as much as I can in one run. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous it's getting ridiculous fam do I want I'm just gonna do hold on I think I want to top off my Venetian red side with nude Venus Venus because I feel nude Venus is a warmer peachy tone that looks so pretty on the actual cheeks yeah, so you could pick that up a little bit. Mmm, that's pretty. Let's back it up. Let's let's see it full force. Oh yeah. Look, this is like the burnt side. Or no, rather, this is the burnt side. And this is like the we're we're on vacation side. Just very, it's very hard for me to wear eyeshadow on my eyes when it's all blushed out. I rather just do like I showed and running a blush color along the crease, and that be it. Put on some mascara. We got Songbird on standby. Mm, this side though I no this side I agree Robbie is it this side you're talking about my left your right <laughs> I always get confused Bobby Lee I would go with nude Venus because it's a little warmer but Nymphette is also beautiful You did. Isn't it so pretty? That's another good combination, Kim. Yes. So lovely. That's why I appreciate 
Pat's blush formula because it has a little bit, it's a demi matte, demi matte and satin, but it's not flat. So it just plays well with other products. Not only does it enhance the color, but it also enhances the effect, which is just top notch. <laughs> just get both it's true they're they're both beautiful they're both beautiful uh, right Arabita. Ibiza. Ibiza. <laughs> that's what we're doing that's what we're doing all right i think this was a successful blush ball what do you all think we went through several combinations we went through uh comparisons and this just gets me amped. I love the blush products that came out this year. This year and last year. Mostly this year, I think. I lost track of time. Have been phenomenal. And the fact that we can combine them all together is amazing. There's nothing worse than trying to combine your favorite products and it not work out. But when it works out... Mm. I just have to figure out a much better makeup uh, storage situation because I just want to access my makeup a lot easier so that getting ready doesn't take as much time. Ooh, that's a great question, Bobby. Uh, blush draping is where you put blush around. I believe this is what it is, but you guys can correct me around the brow and then upper cheek area so for instance if I wanted to really amp up what's happening now I could go in with like let's say love struck which is a, a much more punchier shade and like put more here around and then also through so you want to connect everything happening around the temple and lid area. So now you have like this crazy like bracket of color. But I think it works out so well. And if you wanted... We could, we could see, I'm going to put Divine Rose on top. So maybe because since we have more pink, more pink will come out versus just the gold. And everything just looks like, ooh, I need to do this more often. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we did good today, fam. We did good today. I love it. I love it. I love all the combinations that we did. Oh, so easy to use. So, you know, the fact that some of the, the Lisa Eldridge blushes are hard to squeeze out. Okay, I'll deal with it. Ah, yes. That's a great technique to add in as well. A bit on the bridge of the nose and connecting it to the apples of the cheeks. Yes. What a lovely way just to like create that flush. Oh, yes. Er, yes. Let's see here. Let's see here. I'm actually going to use Nude Venus to do that with. Uh-huh. And add freckles if you like. If you like to go that route. Amazing. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me on a very, I feel impromptu live because I really should have promoted this like a day ago, but I wasn't sure if I was able to go live. However, I think an hour and a half in advance is, is okay. I could be better about it. I really appreciate you carving out time to come on and hang out with our friends. Thank you so much for joining and thank you so much for, uh, you know, having mom call on the live. You know how it goes sometimes. 
But anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening. I will have the timestamps up as quickly as possible so that you don't have to, if you just want to see a few combinations, like at least I've had enough, want to see a few combinations, then you'll be able to skip over to them. I'll, I think I'm going to drop my melt video tomorrow morning sometime. So keep a look out for that. And let me know what else you want to see. I think uh, one had suggested that I do a budget brush video. I'm also doing another of uh, Huda Beauty video where we will cover different bristle types. I'm really excited about this video because it's more like educational in that we go over what the different bristle types do and what they're best used for. Also, Fude Beauty is going to post a questionnaire, I think, on their Instagram. So if you wanted to visit them and post your questions there or even post your questions here on in this video just to kind of see, you know, if Go is better with this or Grace Girl better with that. So that's coming up. And I think I'm trying, I'm not, I'm trying to not spend as much money this month because I want to save up for a new desk. I'm remodeling my room to make it a little more workflow appropriate. So in order to do that, I got to hang tight on the budgie budge. Oh, look. Hi, Kate. Do you like? Is this Kate the Great Appropriate? Mm. thanks for hopping by friend yeah so that's the plan that's the plan i'm trying to be responsible so that because right now my situation is just not ideal and i do want to make it so when i walk into the space i want to work you know what i mean and not feel cluttered thank you friends <laughs> Do it. Woo, 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 woo. And I will try to have these lives a little earlier so our friends overseas can join in in case they want to get some rest. You know what I'm talking about, Davida? Trying to get the budgety budge, okay? Want to get the budgety budge. You got it, Amanda. I'll make note of it and I'll try my, I'll, I'll work on my list now. Oh, good. Congratulations. Yes, new job. Ooh, friend, we are waiting with bated breath. We don't know. I don't know anything. I feel she's going to wait until the fall because Divine Blush is the summer moment. You know what I mean? She's been hinting at something. We, I don't know what it is. We could do, it could be a mothership. It could be something else. I hope it's not another quad. If it is, fine. But the last mothership was the Vine Rose 2, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Because after that, it was the Vine Rose this and the Vine Rose that. <sighs> So we can get closer to Mothership 10. If she makes Mothership 10 the case hollow or iridescent, she has to. She has to do something for Mothership 10. Mothership X? Come on. This has to be like blown out the water, fabulous. Out the seams. Hey, Evelyn. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> your cat is like what is she doing I have a feeling it might be too I do I think it is if it is I hope she goes you know what to the wall all right like purple commit to it commit to it hey Chris What's up, friend? And happy one-year anniversary. Thank you. Yes. I'm sure. Can you imagine? She probably already planned Mothership 10 years in advance. And she was like, you know what? I'm going to wait until the 10th Mothership to release this mother. 
<laughs> so it could really be like pow wow wow. Oh my goodness me. Oh yeah. In September Virgo energy, I keep forgetting. That'll be a great, great turn of events. Aligns with the timeline very well. I agree, Taya. I want special packaging on the Mother 10. The Mothership 10. Most definitely. Oh, amazing. Of course, Evelyn. All while in a lunch stretch. <laughs> Which... You have been killing so good. We could do that too. We got we got nine and ten coming up. We'll take both. We'll take it all. We'll take it all. It might be, but you know what? I'm saving my pennies now. So when she drops that price, I'll be like, here, take it. Take it. I already, PR or not, I'm buying it. Especially if it's limited, I'm getting two. <laughs> you know how many freaking Midnight Suns I have? I have two Midnight Suns. No, I have an extra Midnight Sun that was a gift. It was in the limited edition Selfridges packaging. And I have another bronze deduction in the limited Bergdorf packaging. So. Can you imagine, like, <laughs> the shade of it all? This is really how it's supposed to be done over decay. <laughs> and we'd be like, yes! Okay. Everyone, I'm so sorry to keep you longer. Have a great rest of your day, evening, morning, afternoon. And I will see everyone soon. And wherever you are, make sure you dance it out.